morning guys hope you're doing well i am on my way to nails let's see this won't stay here i know let's just try something just till i get out on the road um off out to get nails done it's 9 25 and uh pete nash is still sleeping and the dogs I, roxy actually kind of wants to get up and get moving she's hungry probably wants to go out. I ran out of time so Pete will take them. It's hot already. It's uh, 78 degrees but it's humid. Sorry I thought something was on the doorstep. Yeah let's move this now so people don't think I'm totally nuts. Oops. Hmm. So last night was just what I needed. I did nothing. You know when you feel hungover but you haven't been drinking? That's how I feel. <laughs> I'm just so wiped. But uh, it was good to do nothing. I didn't actually, we were gonna go get food. Pete said he would go pick some up, but I didn't have the heart to ask him to do that. And I sure as heck couldn't be bothered. So we ended up making another sandwich, but it was about 10.30 we finally did that. <laughs> and what else? Boy, I'm sweating. Haven't driven Ashley's car in a while. Feels weird. Well, I say Ashley's car is technically mine. It needs to uh, go pick up the pieces this week to fix it up. We need the aerial fix so we can listen to music. And we need the drink holder fix. This car's not in the best shape anymore. It's only got 30... 39,308 miles on it. It's a 2001. And it's rattling like crazy. I don't know if I put my rings on today. Oh, I did. So the plan is to run into my as a Keswick and um, just go get some bacon and stuff because we haven't had it in a while. A lot of people around. I guess these are all the churchgoers. <clears throat> a lot of people walking, a lot of cars, or well, a lot for this time of morning. Oh, you can't. She dropped something in the street. But she just walked without even looking to see if cars were coming. Oy. Anyway, I'm going to love and leave you guys, and I will see you after nails. This is a bumpy road, and it's just me blabbing on. <clears throat> it's not a cloud in the sky though, I'll tell you that, I will show you that real quick, once we get past the church. See? I don't know what you see, but... Anyway, i leave you guys for now and I'll talk to you later. Okay, I've beat everyone here. There's a nail place and it's closed. She told me to be here at 9.30. I said, are you sure? She said yes. There's Tan Fastic. That's where I used to go and get tanned. And then once I went on a certain medication, I couldn't do it anymore. But that was a long time ago. Subway, Pet Spa, where Roxy used to go. <clears throat> the Pale Place is a Chinese restaurant on the end and a dry cleaner. And then here is Edible Arrangements. And there is... Domino's Pizza and look at this car. How can you drive with all these stickers on your car? Seriously, they're on his whole window. And then you have a Sleepy's mattress, something else, and oh, a KFC, and down the end is Apple Farm Market. But seriously, um, what are all those stickers on his window for? Oh, and someone's in Pet Spa. So I hope she gets here soon because I could have stayed home and not rushed so much. Heading into the city and Ashley's come with us before work. A bridge. I haven't seen my bridge in a few weeks. Still standing. But we're going to come right in and go right out because Madam's got to go to work, don't you? Yeah. And you want to take a ride. You look very nice today. I like that dress. To get it after. You look very nice today in your wolf shirt. Supporting England. Supporting England. 
supporting and he's getting ready. Traffic's been... See if I can start controversy in the store. <laughs> On the football team? Yeah. yeah, they do have Chelsea stuff up, I think. Uh -huh. Chelsea shirt. Hoo hoo, Chelsea. It gets wolf stuff and be grateful. So I have my nails done this morning and she put a little flower on it. Can't get over the traffic. No one wants to come to the city today. It's really good, isn't it? Later. Oh, they all go later. As long as we don't hit traffic, because Ash has to be at work by 3. Yeah. She has to leave the house at 20 past 2. Kids over there. Somebody else taking the pictures out of the car window. Oh yeah. Yeah, to the left, left of us. Kind of kind of no. Where? Over there. Under the grass. Can't she vlogging? I don't know. <laughs> Just teasing. Norwegian breakaway, you're right. It's been here the last few times. Oh, there's a, like a tiger jet next to it. It's pretty cool. I'm impressed on our timing here. It is empty down here. What's happening? <laughs> Living at the hotel? Yeah. like <laughs> <laughs> How's the Freedom Tower doing? Is it completely finished? So you can't zoom in and drive because when you zoom, it bounces. It bounces so bad. <laughs> I heard this song like three times while I was in the nail place. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, they're doing a good job. Almost done. Yeah. It's like the glass is in all on this side. Two sides you can see. Got a frozen good yogurt. spot of frozen yogurt. You tell me that every time. <laughs> when I say ice cream. Pretty pink. <laughs> Gonna hit the bumpy road in a minute. Cobblestones. Wait, wait, wait. Just sharing the experience with everybody. Yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's like a big bump. Why can't I be quiet when we go over it either? Because <laughs> it's like every bump hurts.
Yeah. All these cabs coming up. Am I on your way? No, no. There's a bike. Yeah. This guy, he's really just pulled in and sitting how he wants to. Yeah. And this is Maya's over here. about Greenwich Village, the little brownstones are so pretty with the flowers and everything. Yeah. Places to eat, you think? Yeah, a little shopping center, they'll make it into a shopping bazaar or something like what they did at Pier 59. This has become the trendy area to live. Yeah. Yeah. There's already a food truck getting ready. Yeah. Setting up over here. It is very pretty, Danny, I have to say. Yeah. Now summer's like in full swing. Mm -hmm. And there's my buildings. an hour please if he responds you want to respond he'll say okay that's probably all he'll say because yeah. he obviously knows it's not yeah. you okay I'm gonna sound awfully dumb what flag is that I know the American Depart one. New York Department of Sanitation. Oh, okay, so it's not like a country flag. I, no, I don't. It's a country of garbage. <laughs> country of trash. Yes. That is New York City trash.
Tell me if I'm in your view or anything, Pete, and I'll put this down. No. I don't know. Okay. Oh, she's about to do that again. That's so silly. Let's see the top of your dress, hon. Oh, you're so cute. For Claire's benefit, give her a little bit of food. Don't hold back. Just be like, look, we don't know what to make of it either. And we asked him if he's still interested. Just heading over to my in-laws. Oh, I want to try somewhere different, see if I can get those chips, and I need serviettes. And they don't have them at Stop and Shop, and they don't have them at A&P. Well, as you say, they no, already I know look. it. Tomorrow's my dad's birthday. Yeah, don't like it. I have a weird feeling. This guy's probably thinking, why are these two following me? So this is the neighborhood I lived in when I first came here. <laughs> this is the town Pete grew up in. It didn't, you didn't, did? I didn't uh, frequent this area much though. Because I used all like... All I used to do was walk because I didn't. They only had one car at the time. I think that was because one of the ones Donna Summer was in, and she was upstairs when I went over to pick up the nanny and the kids. And um, was it this one? Ramapo. No, it's the next one then. It's not Ramapo. Oh, this it's one. Indian. Yeah, I gotta keep okay. going around here. And uh, I met Donna Summer's daughter, Mimi. Oh. Oh. But Donna Summer was upstairs with the realtor. So this was my street. Yeah. And when. Oh, two, 2.5 million. Just like. Because the house is white. That's theirs, I think. Yeah, this was my house. This is where, yeah, this is where I lived. And that was my bedroom on the left, on the bottom. Hmm. The very left. Yeah. That was the, uh, let's get the sign. This is my first address over here. It was exciting. And I used to walk into town where you, where we're going now, because I wasn't allowed the car in the beginning. Show it. That's where Pete went to school. Middle school. This is an elementary school, right? Yeah, so my grandfather used to be the head custodian. I wonder if he was a custodian there. When did your grandfather pass away? What year? Uh, he was in the early 70s. He was oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, because I said I. this is where I used to bring the girls to school. Oh, yeah, and I passed away in 81, my senior year. And I came in 82. And then all Pete's cousins and aunts and uncles lived down this street. And we, and my grandmother used to live down there. And we actually rented an apartment down there. What the Italians do over here, they take up whole streets, don't you? Blocks. Blocks. Corners. And you all live next door to each other. Oh, yeah. I think the Anna lives there. That's my cousin Michelle. Where? There. That's Pete's cousin. That's my aunt. Pete's cousin over there on the doorstep in blue. Ah, did you see, I don't have, well, I don't live in England, but I don't have this where I can drive around and go, there's my aunt, there's my cousin. Plus, there's not many of us and we're all spread out all over England. The school, the sc school I worked at for one day when I was doing, what was I doing? Subbing. So we took you a different way to his parents' house today, didn't we? Yes. 
want to rotate. There you go, guys. That's what's called, what's it called? The fat moon, they're calling it. I don't know if it's called. Is it something? Let me get a picture of it as well. Can you start? Yeah, I was just trying to music going through the wires there. Yeah, it's actually getting all full of clouds soon, too. Yeah, one kept talking about this moon. I'm like, what's what about it? Look at it. That's amazing. It's amazing. Oh, I can't see you anyway. Oh, there's. You zoomed in on my nose. Sorry. <laughs> everywhere I turn now there's the moon. Ash was telling me about it, I wonder if she saw it. Mm. Hi guys, it is five past ten, we just got back from my mother-in-law and father-in-law's house. We were sat chatting and uh, having a cup of tea and some cheese and crackers and then we were all getting ready to say goodbye. Um, my father-in-law went to topple, so we all grabbed at him, made sure he was situated before we left. Uh, he took a fall the other night, was walking into the bathroom, and I guess took a fall. He's got a nice big knot on the front of his head again from hitting the bathtub. You know, so anyway, we, we were over there a few hours, we got there around seven, so we've been there about three hours actually, just chatting, and I think we may have tied him out a bit. But in another good way, it was good because Pete's mum said that he wanted to go to bed at seven and she doesn't like him going to bed so early, um, you know. But anyway, I'm going to love and leave you guys for tonight. I have a banging headache and just ran and got some serviettes from the grocery store because I forgot. The moon is totally gone now, totally gone. I'm so glad I took the pictures as we left his mum and dad's. We just got in the car and turned a corner and there it was and I remembered that everyone was talking about the moon. By the time we got home, cloud coverage, can't see it at all, so I'm glad I got it. So I'm going to love and leave you guys for tonight. Love you loads, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.